This is the teacher's recording of Unit 1, World History 2. In this unit, our objectives will be being able to identify the causes of European exploration, summarizing how Portugal built a trading empire in South and Southeast Asia, explaining new economic factors and principles that contributed to the success of the commercial revolution, analyzing the rise of Dutch and Spanish dominance in Asia and the Indian Ocean, as well as acquiring insight into the African slave trade. So let's begin by taking a look at the list of lessons. Beginning with lesson one, Europeans explore overseas. Two, Europeans gain footholds in Asia. Three, European conquests in the Americas. Four, European colonies in North America. Five, the slave trade and its impact on Africa, and wrapping up with lesson six, the effects of global contact. So I would encourage you to pause the video and read the slide as I will not be reading it verbatim. You may read the slide and afterwards listen to my audio presentation on this topic as it will be more expansive and wider in scope. So lesson one, Europeans explore overseas. By the 1400s, the desire to find new trade routes to Asia and tap into the valuable spice trade drove Europeans to explore the world's oceans. The Renaissance spirit of curiosity and faith in individual endeavor and new technology further contributed to European exploration overseas. Portuguese explorers sailed south Along the, along the coast of West Africa before rounding the Cape of Good Hope to reach the Indian Ocean and the Spice Islands. Portugal and other European nations gained footholds in Africa and India, where they set up trading outposts. Meanwhile, explorers like the famous Christopher Columbus crossed the Atlantic Ocean in search of a western sea route to Asia. Instead, him and his ship, shipping crew found the Americas. Lesson 2. Europeans gain footholds in Asia. In the 1500s, Portugal built a, fa of a vast trade network in the Indian Ocean, but soon faced competition from Spanish, Dutch, and English traders. Europeans sought to trade with India and China, but at first, the powerful rulers of these empires set the terms of trade. The Dutch successfully challenged Portugal's dominance in the spice trade, building their own trade networks across Asia. Europeans also, uh, European traders also wanted trading rights in India, China, Korea, and Japan. The rulers of these islands had differing responses to the arrival of Western merchants and traders. Lesson 3. European Conquests in the Americas In the wake of Columbus's voyages, Spanish conquistadors defeated the Aztec ruler Moctezuma and the Inca emperor Atahualpa and gave Spain a huge empire in the Americas. The Spanish conquest brought far-reaching economic, social, and political changes to the Americas. Conquistadors like Cortes and Pizarro added the riches of the Aztecs and the Incas to the Spanish empire in the Americas. In Brazil, Portugal built its own colony, although it lacked the great riches of Peru and New Spain. European conquests slowly led to the rise of a new society and culture that blended Native, American, European, and African influences. On to lesson number four, European colonies in North America. Like the Spanish and Portuguese, the English, French, Dutch, and Swedish competed for colonies in North America. Competition between France and Britain led to the French and Indian War from which Britain emerged as the dominant power in North America. New France and the 13 English colonies developed differently from each other and from the Spanish Empire in the Americas that we discussed in the slide and lesson before. As the 13 English colonies grew, they developed their own ways of life. 
A global power struggle between France and Britain led to conflict in North America. Onwards onto the uh, fifth, fifth lesson, the slave trade and its impact on Africa. So demand for labor led to the pr profitable Atlantic slave trade, which brought millions of enslaved Africans to the Americas, most to South America. The slave trade had a profound impact on captured people, as well as on Africa and the Americas. The trade of slaves became part of the trade network known as the Triangular Trade, a series of Atlantic sea routes joining Europe, Africa, and the Americas. The consequences of this were severe, harsh, and brutal on Africa and on the future of uh, African Americans in North America. So, ending the unit with lesson six, the effects of global contact. Um, so, to wrap it up, the voyages of Columbus and other European explorers set in motion huge changes that would affect Europe, the Americas, and the entire world. They spurred a global exchange of goods and ideas, triggered mass movements of people, and prompted the rise of new forms of commerce and business. The Colombian exchange involved the movement of people, plants, animals, and ideas around the world, making it, marking it as the beginning of globalization. It produced economic changes in Europe, including the commercial revolution, the growth of capitalism, and the rise of mercantilism. So that wraps up our unit. You may contact me at any time through email or in person in class. Thank you very much.